Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda here with your bonus reading for September. Okay, this can be a timeless reading, which means when you decide to choose to look at it, that might be the time that you need to hear this energy that's around you. Or you can correlate it to your monthly reading. As I said, there's a lot of cards in that monthly reading and each one signifies a week of that month. So if there are any repeating cards uh, in this reading that correlates to the monthly readings, perhaps that's a profound message that there will be a theme going on, okay? So let's start off. I've asked Spirit to bless the cards, send you what you need to see, know, and expect, and here they are. Coming up with your all over energy card, which is a download message, this is choices. And I think you're going to be making choices to do things this week, I, or at this time perhaps. Um, there could be a choice of whether to accept a new beginning in a relationship, moving away from things that didn't suit you, sudden change coming in, and then the outcome is taking your time and knowing there will be success. So these choices can pertain to a lot of things. Um, keep your wits about you. Don't go rushing in and making these decisions like a snap decision they're telling me. Think about it, analyze it, be accurate, and know this choice you make must benefit you to your greater good, your higher self. You've got the card of confrontation. Pick your battles wisely, okay? Maybe you're having to make those choices. Do I get into this battle royale with somebody? Do I allow them to pick a debate with me or pick a fight with me? Uh, or, you know, poke me constantly to aggravate me? It's not how many arguments we have had and won, but how many we can avoid by not getting drawn into them. You don't make friends by being aggressive and opinionated and insisting on your point of view, and they must be the same. You'll always be, you'll, you will always offend someone. When you use tact and diplomacy or maybe a little humor, you can then diffuse the situation and consider the feelings of other people involved. This does not mean that you shouldn't stand up for yourself, my beautiful Scorpios, regarding any important issues, okay? You matter and you need to do that. On the trivial matters, silence the most powerful virtue. Don't get caught up in other people's battles. Again, as I said, make that choice to walk away if it isn't going to be a win-win situation. It's wiser to choose your words with care and pick your battles, okay? Stand up for what you believe in and choose your battles wisely this week. Very interesting. So you might be making that choice that, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to get in to a fight with you. And I always say to people, you can't fight with yourself. You need a sparring partner and I'm not going to be that one. So think about that. Coming in with your first card, beautiful card, my very beautiful Scorpios. You've got the Ace of Cups, new beginnings. This can be a new love coming in, a new relationship possibly. Uh, this is the chakra of the uh, the crown chakra, opening your mind to new beginnings, uh, being, uh, being in the moment and looking forward as well to a beautiful future perhaps with somebody in your life. This can be new love, new romance, uh, happiness and joy that's coming in. This is a time of fertility. Some of you might be wanting to start a family, okay? This is a good time to do that. You will see uh, fertility coming in. It's the card of celebrations and happiness and socializing. You could be celebrating a wedding, an engagement, um, you know, um, a commitment uh, of some sort with somebody beautiful in your life. So this is a new beginning, and often it, it's on a heart level. It can be a new relationship and a new romance. Coming in next, you're leaving a situation. You've decided, you know what, I'm making this choice. I'm not getting involved in confrontations, and I'm leaving it. I'm moving in a brand new direction. This is transition for you, and this is the chakra of the heart chakra, doing things that are going to bring you peace and happiness and finding that, that, that beautiful heart chakra opening up to the, knowing that you're going to be going to calmer shores. You're healing through a situation, and this is progress moving forward for you. Okay, things are going to calm down. Things are going to get better. You're leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. It might have been, you know, you're leaving a relationship or a geographical location because you want to live somewhere else. You might be uh, walking away from a job that was unfulfilling, but you're overcoming that hardship. And now you're going to be able to go towards your goals. You could be traveling. Uh, pardon me. You could be traveling or planning a trip to go overseas because this is always depicted with a boat and people in the water. Um, and you you might be planning a trip to go somewhere or. Go going on a trip that re that will have water around you. 
in the center position, you've got the tower. Big, fast, epic changes here. The chakra of the crown, being able to finally see the light for and the truth for what it is. Something happens. It can be a sudden, sudden epic uh, incident that happens that, you know, is a sudden upheaval in your life. Uh, unexpected change that comes in. But you know what? You have the ability to go after what you want. Okay, this is a card of bankruptcy. This is a card of, you know, um, a tragedy, perhaps a disaster, you know, of loss. But I never like to read this card so strongly. I look at this as rebuilding a new foundation. Something happened. It could have been inevitable. You might have made that decision. I'm out of here. I'm moving on. Um, and you've decided to do that. You might be suddenly rebuilding a new foundation here. And this could be in your place of work, your employment, your finances, or even in relationships. Now, some of you may perhaps be building a new home. Um, maybe there was something that happened. I mean, in the likes of our world with the disasters of earthquakes and floods and, and fires, wherever you live, you might be rebuilding a new a new residence for yourself because something suddenly out of your control happened coming in next the beautiful card of the sun i mean this we know is the best card in the whole deck this is the solar plexus chakra this is the chakra that says you know what i can do this i can do what i want i can move forward i have the ability now to step up i deserve this happiness that's coming into my life i forgive my past and i'm moving forward in a new direction so this is all about knowing that what you do is enough, what, what you say is enough, and that you are enough. And so the universe shines down on you, my beautiful Scorpios, and says, you know what? You deserve this new beginning. Always depicted in the traditional tarot with a baby on a horse. And we know that is baby steps, going towards a new beginning, giving birth to a new beautiful uh, goal of yours. Um, this is also the card that says, you know, there could be a pregnancy coming in. There could be the announcement of a child or a new new addition to the family or a close a close family member of yours uh be open be open to the truth be open to new beginnings here know that this is a card of freedom fun success and optimism this is a card that says you have the confidence now to make those changes to make those choices to go through a new beginning and rebuild a brand new start wow okay temperance yeah this is balance, right? When you're going through all these changes, this is confusing and it can and it can leave you daunted and it can leave you feeling a little bit unprotected. But know that you are protected. This card is always depicted either as an angel or wings behind someone. This is a card that says don't jump in too quickly. Something might have happened under your control here that you had to make changes, but when you're making choices that are life-changing, think about them so that you're accurate. Okay, you're on target. Um, this is about <clears throat> being in more harmony with yourself and also with others and relationships around you. This is a card of soulmates. I think some of you are moving on. There may be somebody new coming into your life where you're going to be more at ease. You're going to be happier. You're going to build and you may have made a sudden decision to say, you know what? I'm going to accept this proposal. I'm going to move in with, with, with this person. I'm going to start a new beginning and a new future. But make sure you maintain balance because this is the card that says you need to be centered. You need to be balanced. Wow, Scorpio. Pretty fascinating reading. Pick your battles wisely. You've got choices here to make and you're going to be making new changes in your life, rebuilding a new foundation, going towards a beautiful new future here. And just make sure you maintain balance. You don't make rash decisions, even though you know you're going through this transition. It's going to work out in your favor if you take your time. I think there's going to be love surrounding you now, even more than ever. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Scorpios, and a positive, beautiful positive um, energy for you at this time. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon, Scorpio.